Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at comic book haul number five. There, it's not X-Men related this time, or X-Factor related, or X-Force related this time. Uh, this is actually just a variety of comics. Uh, the first one we have here, uh, I again, I got from the old book barn. Uh, they had buy 10 comics for 7 bucks or a dollar a piece, which is a really good deal. I think I ended up getting about 23 comics for 18 bucks, which is not bad at all. Uh, but first things first, we have Invincible, number 94, 20 Years of Image Comics, 1992 to 2012. The best superhero comic book in the universe. This was by Robert Kirkman, Ryan Otley, Corey Walker, Cliff Rathburn, and John Rauch. Uh, I'm not sure who this in, this version of Invincible is. I never really kept up on Invincible. I read the very first issue when it came out digitally uh, way, way back in the day um, and thought it had a great deal of potential and boy was I correct. It, uh, Invincible has become a very long lasting, well-known comic book hero. Uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he gets his own uh, animated series or movie eventually. Up next, we have Invincible number 101. Uh, as you can see, I have my bag and board inside it because I'm currently reading it, and that's how I mark the page. This is the 101st issue. Robert Kirkman, Ryan Otley, Cliff Rathburn, and John Rauch. Uh, again, you got a different version of Invincible on the front cover, and I can't remember her name. I that's the original Invincible's girlfriend or whatever you want to call her. Like I said, I'm not super up to date on Invincible. These were in really good condition when I found them at the old book barn in the comic book bin. At 10 comics for 7 bucks, you can't really pass it up. Up next, we have Invincible number 106. Uh, you have Invincible there. Uh, arm wrestling Omni-Man, it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there because by this point... By this time point, I'm pretty sure uh, Omni Man had tried to kill his son. Uh, I could be wrong. I, I have yet to read it. So up next we have Ultraverse Prime Number Two from Malibu Comics. This was done by Jones Strazuski and Bray Fogel. Uh, for those of you who are too young to remember, Malibu had the potent Malibu had become the fourth mainstream comic book company uh, back in the 90s. You had Marvel, you had DC, you had Image, and you had Malibu. And then Dark Horse was pretty much tied with uh, Malibu. Uh, eventually, Marvel bought out Malibu, I believe, and just did nothing with their characters at all, which I thought was a real shame. The Ultra Force um, animated series on USA Network uh, was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's what introduced me to the Ultraverse of comics. Uh, Prime was pretty much Malibu Comics' version of Shazam. You had this kid uh, who was an ultra Malibu Comics version of mutants who could transform and all this slime came out of him and covered him and transformed him into Prime. Up next we have Armageddon 2001 Hawk and Dove Annual 1991 number 2. Their future is revealed. You have Wave Rider on the cover and I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this is the issue where Monarch's identity is revealed. Spoiler warning for those of you who don't know, go ahead and fast forward through this next part by just a few seconds. But Monarch is actually a future version of Hawk from Hawk and Dove. Alright, with that being said, <clears throat> very cool cover. You have Monarch here fighting Hawk in a transformed state. You have Dove here, Hawk and Dove here. Uh, this is more of an evolved version of Dove, it looks like. Very cool. Up next... We have Extreme Justice number two, Ambush. You have Blue Beetle and Booster Golem on the front cover. Uh, 
I'm not sure where Booster Gold got this armor. Uh, it very 90s esque. <laughs> we have Golden Age Greats, Men of Mystery. Uh, I had never actually heard of this before. Uh, I'm glad I found them in pretty decent condition. Uh, you have Golden Age stories all in one comic of The Avenger, Phantom Lady, Captain Flash, Commando Yank, which um, I don't know about that name, guys. And then Golden Lad. Art by Dane Barry, Mike Sikowski, Bob Powell, Mort Meskin, Jack Kamen. Text story by Roy Thomas. As you can see here, this is the Avenger. You have Phantom Lady, uh, Captain Flash, uh, I believe this is Camp Commando Yank, and Golden Lad. And then here from Golden Age Greats, Golden Age Men of Mystery, number six, Mr. Scarlet. Preserving Yesterday's Heroes. You have the Black Terror and the Enchanted Dagger there on the front. Uh, the Green Mask and Phantom Lady. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Black Terror played a huge part in Dynamite Comics Project Superpowers. Uh, he also played part, not too big of a part, in Dynamite Comics Masks. So there you have it, guys, on this week's comic book haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Tell me down in the comics which one of these comics you like the most. Which one are you looking forward to getting? I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.